The Greater Montana Foundation presents the director of the Historical Society of Montana, Mike Kennedy, who wants to tell you today about a picture that Charlie Russell did for the Historical Society. I'm happy to speak to you about a painting that I think has tremendous significance to the state of Montana. Uh, most uh, of our school children, of course, know that Lewis and Clark, uh, with their magnificent expedition of 1805, uh, 1804 and 5, opened uh, the way to uh, ultimate civilization in Montana. I think it was typical of Charlie Russell, perceptive as he was, to realize that this painting uh, throughout the years and the centuries would hold even greater interest and value. And therefore, also typical of his generosity and his great devotion and loyalty to the state of Montana, painted this in 1908 and presented it to the Historical Society of Montana. Now, uh, it, it should be remembered that Charlie Russell was not a wealthy man. It should also be remembered that within a few years of this, he was selling paintings at the highest price of any living American artist of his day, namely in the category of, of five figures. Uh, therefore, I think it, it, uh, it's worthy of mention that it was great generosity on his part. A little now about the painting. Uh, any of you who have studied uh, a great deal of Western American history would recognize that this is the interior of a Mandan Lodge. Therefore, the scene took place in the Mandan villages in the Dakotas in the winter of 84 before they started their westward movement into Montana. You'll also notice, if you've ever studied the work of Catlin and Bodmer, uh, that in this one case, Russell for research, uh, showing again how meticulous he was, searched long and hard to find uh, the interior of a Mandan Lodge, since certainly none existed when he came to Montana in 1880. He did it with meticulous detail. It's a, it's a very graphic and accurate depiction of the interior of a Mandan Lodge. Seated here at the right, of course, are the two captains. Uh, it's conceivable that either this lady or that lady is Sacagawea. There's little doubt that that's Charbonneau. Uh, the, but the central figure is the great and magnificent physical specimen, York, the manservant of the expedition. And York, of course, was admired and looked upon by all of the Indians throughout the length and breadth of the great uh, exploration all the way from St. Louis to the West Coast and on return. And uh, as a matter of fact, he was credited by many historians with being one of the dominating factors as to why uh, the expedition encountered no more warfare or bloodshed on the part of the Indians uh, than it did. It's a watercolor. It, it shows uh, the tremendous talent of this untrained artist to depict in any media, as he later would do in bronze, in oil, and in pen and ink. But in this case, uh, it, it's more vivid as a watercolor than many artists can do in oil. The fire, for example, simply glows. You feel the warmth of the interior of that lodge, the sunlight streaming down through the opening in the roof. And all in all, it's a remarkable historic portrayal of one of the great incidents in Montana history. I think, uh, I think that uh, if you came uh, to us, we could point out countless others, not necessarily by Russell, but literally hundreds and thousands of objects of one kind or another that would hold, in a sense, part of the historic interest of this. We think that the people of Montana do not come to this institution frequently enough. We hope and pray that you will come more often, and we certainly welcome you to visit us more frequently.